Is it on? Oh, it's on. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Two Fat Girls. It's me, Mandy. And I wanted to do, like, I had seen a bunch of, like, I've seen other vlogs on it. Um, and it was, like, your top five workout songs. And I meant to do one like a bazillion years ago, like when it first came, my hair looks funny, when it first came out and I forgot to, and I subscribed to somebody new and she had one up and I can't remember her name. It started with an A, but I don't remember what it was. And I'll put the linky link down at the bottom. And, um, so I, I just want to do it. So, yeah, so it's probably going to be more than five songs because I'm a music whore. So what I have made is I did make a list because if I don't make a list, you know, I'll run on forever. But I pick like my top five that I'm listening to kind of like right now. And then I have honorable mentions, but I only have five. So it's okay. I won't run on forever. And the funny thing is, is like I was talking to my friend the other day at work and she was talking, we were talking about Bug and like how Bug does not like like popular music she's seven and like she doesn't like a lot of music that's on the radio today like hardly any like she likes some Katy Perry and um that's about it so she likes some Katy Perry and that's about it and um we I was saying um, we were like she's gonna be the biggest music snob when she gets to school and, you know like in high school she's gonna be like the cool indie kid and yeah I would be so proud of her she was the cool hip indie kid that's like psh, Bieber how about Bowie you know or how about some Mac and like right now she's so in love with the Dixie Chicks like yeah she thinks Goodbye Earl is like the greatest song ever and when she sings it it is hilarious because she sings it in the perfect country accent like Natalie Maine sings it because she was telling me uh last night when I got home she was like um sister she said you know in Goodbye Earl when she says bright and I'm like yeah because she says looking for a bright new world in the song she's like she says looking for a bright new world and she's like that's how she says it and I was like, yeah, that's how she says it, baby. It was just cute. I thought it was. Um, and so she just thinks it's so cute. I can't, I'm going to have to try and get it on video for y'all because it is hilarious. And I mean, I know, I mean, I've got a country accent, but I've never really noticed it that bad until I started doing videos. And my accent really didn't get really thick until I started working with the public. And then I hear them talking all the time. And like when we go back home to California, they're like, hi, I have a country accent. Oh, well. Okay, my top five. Number one, which is really not in any order. Um, but like number one is Stay With You. And like I listen to that one. And like whenever I exercise, I make sure I always listen to that one at least once. And it's usually more than once. Um, but yeah, I always listen to that one. And I always listen to um, Under Pressure is number two. But it has to be the David Bowie and Gail Ann Dorsey version, the live version from the reality tour. Because I've told you all this before. Like when it starts and he's like, it starts off and, you know, it's live. And he's like, go girl. That's the one it has to be. Because it has to be the one where he says, go girl. Because then it's like, you know, like you're exercising and Bowie's like, go girl, you can do this. That's how I feel. And I love it. And like, if I don't listen to it, um, if I don't find it, because I've got an iPod shuffle. I'm like the lamest person in the world. I don't have like a real iPod because personally, I don't really like them. I've told you all this before when, yeah, if, you know, I'm about to get crazy with this music vlog. I'm already hyper because I've had lots of Monster and lots of coffee. But I love to have a real CD. Like I need a CD. You know, I can't just download it. And I'm really weird about other music because, like, some of them, like my Mac, my Goo, um, Bowie, like, I don't take them with me anywhere. I burn them onto other CDs and I leave them here. That way, if the burn CD gets scratched up or something happened to it, it's all good because I still have the good one at home. Um, I'm really weird. But anyway, like, on my iPod Shuffle, I will, like, triple click that bitch for an hour until I can find Under Pressure and I can exercise to it without fail. I'll be like, click, 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 like a million times. Okay, number three is, um, which I love this song anyway, and I've noticed that I do, like, when I, when it comes up on my shuffle, I'll, like, play it, like, two or three times, um, before I'll go to the next song, and that is Dance in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen. I love Dancing in the Dark. I can't even begin to explain to you how much I love this song. And like one of these years when Mandy gets like, you know, when I get thinner, like Courtney Cox was in that video, I'm totally being that for Halloween. Totally going to be that for Halloween. And I'll just like carry the song around with me. And then when they're like, oh, what are you? And I'll be like, I'm Courtney Cox from Dance in the Dark video. I'll do the Dance in the Dark video dance. 
and y'all know what dance I'm talking about. Um, number four is Take Me Home Tonight by Eddie Money because I love, 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 love Eddie Money. I love Eddie Money so much. And that's like my favorite one. I like Shaken too. Shaken is good to exercise too. But Take Me Home Tonight was the one that I thought of first. And then the other one, which like totally doesn't really make any sense on this list because I don't really listen to rap music at all, period, the end, is I'm on a boat with uh, the lonely, what are they called? The Lonely Island and T-Pain. I just love that song. And I think it's because they cuss so much in it. And usually I don't like cussing, but they're doing it in a funny way, you know? And I just love that song. Like I listen to that one like two or three times too when it comes on. Um, but yeah, but Under Pressure and Stay With You are definitely ones that I will like triple click on my shuffle to find before I can stop exercising. I have to listen to those two songs or my exercise is not complete. And now for honorable mentions, Billy Ocean, anything about Billy Ocean, except for like suddenly, I don't want to listen to like a slow song, um, but like, you know, Lover Boy, Get Out of My Dreams, Get Out of My Dreams is like one of my favorite ones um, to exercise to, just because it reminds me of that duck and it makes me happy when I'm like, oh, I'm so freaking tired. And then I imagine, isn't it a duck, the duck that goes across the video? Yeah, like when I'm really tired, I, you know, and like that song will come on, I imagine that duck and it makes me laugh and then I forget that I'm about to die. Um, the other one, which I've been listening to for like a bazillion years now, and it is like one of my favorite songs right now, and it's Ryan Starr, The Last Train Home, OMG, OMG. You've been away. freaking love that song and i mean he is oh he just wails so awesome like i can't even like ugh, he was so good the other night i just can't even begin to explain to you like y'all need to see ryan star or you need to look up his music and actually i'm gonna put links for just about everything i talk about down here at the bottom and i will put last train home because it is uh amazing amazing like, you totally need it. And it's on the PS I Love You soundtrack. And I don't, it might be in that movie. It could have been in the trailer for that movie. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it was in PS I Love You. And I did not know that. And But I love this. Look, let me show you guys. Um, is this the one that he signed? No. I bought, remember I told you I bought both of those CDs when I went to the concert the other day? Um, this is, this is his newest one, I think. And he's working on a new, uh, CD right now too but this is yeah this is the one that he signed and this is uh, I believe this might be his first one but this one like I don't know how long the songs are because I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet because I've been obsessing with this one um this has got 20 songs on it I mean 20 freaking songs who puts 20 songs on an album anymore this guy because he's awesome um but yeah, this is when we met him and he signed it. And it says, Mandy, all love. And that's his signature. And then he put like a little heart on the CD. And I did not notice that until yesterday. I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, he even drew like a little heart on the CD. And he's got crazy cool hair. He's got like a curly mohawk. Not very many guys can pull off a curly mohawk. Because when they will come in the shop and they want a curly mohawk, I'm like, uh, you got to be able to style this good or it's just not going to work. But yeah, and this one, see, he's, it's a little bit straighter in that one. Can you see? But he's got a curly mohawk. And like I said, not many guys can pull that off. I usually try and talk to try and talk dudes out of a curly mohawk. I'm like, mm. unless you want to flat iron it, it's going to look like you have a little fro running down the middle of your head. But yeah, you can pull it off. Um. Oh, wait, what else? Totally got distracted. Other honorable mentions. Anything by Gaga, especially Alejandro and Hair. Love it. And then the other one, uh, Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac, which is like the greatest breakup song in the world. And then, you know, when you're exercising, it's like, you can your own way. And it's awesome. It just makes me happy. And um, the other ones are any songs that like involve fire. 
Like, because, you know, you're burning calories. And when I hear a song about fire, it just makes me happy. And Rooms on Fire, Start a Fire by Ryan Starr. Get it. Um, Start a Fire, that song is good. Sex on Fire is really good. Burning for You by Blue Oyster Cult, really good. Um, yeah, I like songs that involve fire when I'm exercising. It makes me feel like I'm extra burning stuff, like extra burning calories. So, yeah, I think that's about it. I feel like this really didn't go as good as I had planned. Oh, well. I've had a lot of coffee. Look at my coffee cup, y'all. See that? Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, because I went to a filming of that show when we were in California last time, and it was pretty awesome. And these are the old cups. I want I want the new cup now, because, um, you know, he has the new logo. And these freaking coffee cups are like 15 bucks, $15 for this, and it says, um, tomorrow's just a future yesterday, which is pretty awesome, and he sings his own theme song. And he's adorable, and he's Scottish, and he's got gray hair. Love him. Um, so, yeah. This is 10 minutes of weirdness. Bye, guys. I would leave you But she couldn't stay We were only kids We were in life water But time stays still My daughter Something's coming down With a sick child You just Play Wait!